This is the post build customization for the real grade Zaku 2. When customizing your gun plot, you're going to be working with things like model glues, various types of paints, and also solvents like paint thinner or isopropyl alcohol are the two most common ones. You want to make sure that you're in a well-ventilated room because you don't want to be uh, inhaling the fumes because they could cause health issues or at the very least make you feel intoxicated. You're going to want to read any warning labels on any products that you use or do some research online to see if there's additional health uh, safety measures you need to take, such as respiratory gear or anything such like that. If you are working with isopropyl alcohol, do keep in mind that that is a wood alcohol, which can cause serious health issues, including blindness if consumed. So you want to make sure that you definitely wash your hands after any exposure to it to make sure that you don't get it in your food later on. Okay, now I'm going to be doing the color correcting painting instead of using the stickers that are on here. And the ones that I'm going to be color correcting are these, this copper color here and the, this here, the silver. And I waited until after I built it because with the RGs, the inner, the, these are colorations that are happening on the inner frame and the inner frame of the RG series has a lot of pieces that attached to it so I wasn't quite sure whether the pieces snapped together or not so I wanted to make sure that I had everything together so that if I painted it beforehand they might wear off so I wanted to do it after I did the build and, and it's all ex basically in the back joints like you know it's basically the the pit of the elbow and the knees so it'll be really easy to do with it all put together I don't have to worry about you know masking things off or anything like that because they're very small areas and I have very fine uh, acrylic markers here so the two that I'm going to be using is for the silver I'm going to be using this chrome silver marker unfortunately I do not remember who the manufacturer is of these but I do like these you can search on Amazon for chrome silver markers and these will come up Looking at the way the print printing is, it looks like it might be Despe, but Despe would have their name on it. So this is probably someone trying to look like Despe, but it is a quality marker. So I would recommend these for the chrome. And for the copper, I got a set of Arctix metallic paint pens. And it's an 18 set uh, kit with a lot of different shades of different colors, different color greens, different color blues, different color reds, and metallic ones. And this was the one, when testing it for when I did my other RG, the uh, Gundam, this is the one that matched these colors the most. And, I mean, it's almost an exact match, really. And these are the same colors on here. So I'll be using that for the copper. Now, one thing also to note is when you're putting it together, you're going to find that when you're putting the legs together, they're going to show that these silver stickers, or or to be, or I would have painted them, are to be applied to the inner, the main inner frame, so that they show through um, openings when they everything is snapped together. These parts here, unlike the Gundam, that these did show once everything was together, I have moved the leg as much as it can, exposing as much of the inner frame as I can, these do not show up. You cannot see where they're telling them to put these. So absolutely, you can feel free to either use the stickers or paint them, but in, I decided not to because I won't ever be able to see them no matter what I do. <laughs> so there's only four pieces to, to paint, so I'm, I'm not gonna do a speed paint or anything like that. I'm just gonna stay right on. So I'm going to do the copper first because there's more of that. And the nice thing about these Arctics is they have both the, the brush style tip and then they have what they call a super fine or fine. Now, the brush style gets you finer than this, but I guess, you know, there are places where that might come in handy, but I've only ever used this, the brush side. So they're very easy to work with. And it's just this little raised part here in the middle, right 
there that I'll be painting. Let me get it to focus here. Come on. There we go. Yeah, so it's just going to be that little raised part there in the middle. So I'll just be painting that freehand. And I love the coverage of these. And I've also found that these are nice enough where, even though I've been doing it mostly on dark plastic, I haven't had to do a second coat. Now these I might have to. I'll decide that once it dries. But, and, and you can get some really fine detail because what I want to do is where the sides go down to meet the rest of the inner frame, I want to make sure is also copper. So it all looks nice as if it's one piece that's piece of metal that's been slapped on there. You can really get nice and detailed with these. I have full sets of, you know, the lay... Whoop. I have to clean that up a little bit. It's like I touched the uh, green part, but that's okay. I'll just use some acrylic. Um, and they have, you know, from paint thinner to get that off. So it's not a big deal to clean up. Because all the panel lining I do is enamel. So I can clean up any acrylic painting that I do with the acrylic paint thinners and stuff. And it won't affect the panel lining. That's how I prefer doing it. I do enamel for panel lining and acrylic for all the other paintings. So that one doesn't affect the other. If I have to panel line over the painting, then... I'm all set, or if I have to paint around the uh, panel lining, then I'm all set there as well. And then on the leg, it's just these kind of four raised parts here. Let's see if I can get this to focus. There we go. It's those four little raised parts on each side that get colored. So I'll be doing the same thing, making sure that I get the side, you know, the, the front and, you know, where it slants down. armor. Not too bad. So that's it for the... Oops. No, it's not. I gotta do the other leg. Once this dries, it has a very nice metallic sheen to it. And that's it for the bronze or the copper. So let me on the legs, it's this little square part here that would get the The silver, or really, it's more of a chrome. Now, one thing I wish is that this also had a uh, more of a brush type tip to it, but it is fine enough that you just need to be a little bit more patient and. Once the paint comes out, it'll flow and 
get into where you need it to go and stuff like that. So it is nice. Now the uh, the Arctic's th these pens did have a somewhat silver one, but it's more of a gunmetal than a than a than a silver or a chrome. So, and as you can see, see it it covers nicely once you get it going, and just need to be a little bit more patient with it. So I'm just gonna let those dry, and uh, if I need to do another coat, I will. But normally with these, I don't have to because they they they're quite nice paints in the brushes. So thank you for watching and I'll see you for the next one. Okay, now that everything's been put together, I'm going to go ahead and apply the decals. So since this is a real grade, there are decals um, provided. These are what they call the realistic stickers. They're thinner than um, on a regular kit so they you know if, if you wanted to use these that would be fine i have used these because i rubbed off one of the other water slides and these actually don't show the edges anywhere near as much as say on a high grade um, because they are much much thinner and you can put some good old softener on there and even make it less noticeable once uh, everything kind of settles down um, but I do prefer working with water slides. So what I've done is I have found for the uh, for the real grade Zaku 2 a third party provider Delpi decals, and I've worked with Del Delpi decals before on other models, and they are very very nice. They're definitely one of the top two um, third party water decal suppliers, and I could not find. Um, Bandai ones, so that's why I went with a third party. So I'll be using these instead. Now there are some that have some chrome, you know, silver bits on there. Normally what happens is when they go to water slide, those silver parts will be like a more of like a gunmetal gray. And it looked fine on the um the Gundam I did, the other real grade I did. So I might just use the water slides instead. I'll decide that when you know I get into it now that I know that these actually do do pretty well. Now I did get a new tool and what I got is basically just a reverse set of uh, tweezers because before I was using my tweezers here and these are great because you know the, the tip is pretty um, precise and stuff like that but of course I've got to hold them down. With this one, it's got a nice little tip that's very precise as well. A little bit thicker maybe at the tip, but that shouldn't be a problem. It's more what's gripping the decal, at the edge of the decal itself. But with these, once I get the decal in there, I don't have to hold it anymore. It'll just stay there. So I want to see how this works. And um, just, you know, I think it'll be easier. Because sometimes what will happen is the the pressure I'm putting on it will, you know, come off just a little bit or the... The, the, the glue that's on the part that I'm holding will make it slippery. So, you know, as I'm trying to get the decal off the backing, it might move a little bit. So I'll see if this can help that. And I've got my normal things, my bamboo thing for, you know, my bamboo tool to get them off the thing. I've got my decal scissors and my Mr. Mark setter and my Mr. Mark softener. So let's just get right on into this. Okay, I just wanted to jump right back on here because I just noticed while trying to find, match up the water slides, is that uh, Delpi did not provide every water slide for what's on the stickers from Bandai. And the things that are missing are when there's just a single chrome bit without any, right, any you know, other markings around it. So that would be things like number 13, which is just a chrome circle, or 17, which is just chrome lines. So in order for things to look good, it, when I have to go back and forth, and I'm seeing other ones too now that I'm looking, I'm going for the black dot ones, which are the ones that have the chrome 
bits on there, I'm going to be using the realistic stickers instead of the water slides. And the water slides, I'll replace all the non-black circled numbers, which are all the actual markings without any metallics in them. I'll be using the water slide for those only. So I just wanted to jump back on and let you know that was going to happen. Because I don't know why. I, other, other times they've had everything. So I guess they decided that it would be easy enough to use markers or something or paint when it was just chrome and there didn't have to be any other detail attached to it. So just want to let you know.
you for watching this video right to the end. If you did enjoy it, please do give it a thumbs up. That does help out the channel. If you would like notifications as to when new videos are posted to this channel, please do subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you do have time, please do enjoy one of the videos that are popping up around my head.